A new solar and battery storage facility will help Itasca County move towards clean energy. Reporter Betsy Moline was at the groundbreaking ceremony today and has more. Today, construction started on a new solar array facility in Grand Rapids. It will be comprised of over 15 acres of solar panels and a lithium battery storage system. This is the first of its kind facility for northern Minnesota. We're celebrating uh, the viability of solar power and battery storage here in the Northland. This is the first uh, installation of its type in this part of the state, and we're proud to be a model that others can hopefully copy. The project has taken years worth of work from various groups including Grand Rapids City Council and Public Utilities, Itasca Clean Energy and U.S. Solar. This project has been five years ago in concept and then most, um, most adamantly here in the last two years we've been focusing on this particular design. The amount of power generated and stored will account for a significant amount within the community. This power is going to go right into the grid and supply 8% of what Grand Rapids uses every year. The site behind me may not look like much now, but in a few short months it will be filled not only with a 2 megawatt solar array, but also with a native pollinator habitat. Um, it will have bee boxes that are around that can um, be sold, the honey that can be sold after the fact. Um, it is deep rooted vegetation, which means it um, does not provide for any erosion control um, or erosion uh, potential. And it also requires very little maintenance. Um, it's bee friendly, it's bird friendly. Not only will the site offset local power currently being produced by coal, it will also offer a learning and education tool. But the biggest impact for Grand Rapids Public Utilities will be the ability to shave down their peak power demand. Uh, in the afternoons in the summer when everybody's using their air conditioning, um, we're able to use the power generated from the solar array to offset the power that we need to purchase from our wholesale provider. And then in the evenings in the winter, we're able to store that power that's generated during the day in a battery and then dispatch it in the evening hours when people are using their heat. Reporting in Grand Rapids, Betsy Moline, Lakeland News. The commissioning of the solar power into the city's grid will be in late October or early November of this year. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.